something that you have or don't have. It's more of an action process. And um, good teaching, it involves uh, reflection, it involves uh, being exposed to new teaching ideas and learning activities and being actively engaged in learning activities. And um, the Mississippi Community College Board provides that kind of training through the Institute of Teaching and Learning. The Institute of Teaching and Learning is not your typical sit and get kind of professional development session. It is a hands-on interactive um, small group where we come together in a variety of forms. We have face-to-face -face, uh, where we come and we have group discussions. We have uh, interactive learning activities. We have um, hands-on activities in our face-to-face. -face. In addition to that, we also have monthly webinars. We have an online module that participants complete where they go in online, they do an uh, online module monthly through Canvas. But one of the fun things that our participants engage in is the instructional reflection video. And this is where our participants actually video themselves teaching a lesson. They watch the video and then they write a reflection about what they saw in the video and how they can better tie in instructional strategies that they've learned. Um, this is always something that's very fun and engaging for our participants. But not only fun, one of the things that we do that's important and a vital part of our program uh, is the on-site support that we provide to our instructors. We actually go on site and we observe them teaching a lesson, provide immediate feedback to them so that we can reaffirm what they're already doing a good job at and um, also to give them some insight on things that they can better develop their skills in. Um, we we want to make sure we're always uh, giving them an opportunity to ask us questions one-on-one -on -one as well. We offer 10 topics in the Teaching and Learning Institute. Those 10 topics were selected based on input from our Professional Development Committee, which consists of deans and vice presidents from the 15 community colleges, and also from research into best practices. Some of those topics include faculty professionalism, classroom management, interactive learning styles, differentiated instruction, characteristics of effective instructors, ADA compliance, active learning strategies, and effective questioning techniques. We cover those topics in face-to-face -face sessions through five webinars in our final session, which we have here in Jackson. I mean, really, it's, it's, it's one of the more outstanding opportunities for our faculty because they can go there, uh, they learn new ideas, um, they are interacting with, building relationships with colleagues who are uh, part of other institutions. They challenge each other, they push each other, uh, they do all those things, which then they bring back to East Mississippi Community College. And from there, um, you know, we all win at that point. Our students win. Our our educational environment wins, uh, what we produce and the folks we send out to four-year schools or straight to the workforce, they get the benefit of that also. Uh, so, you know, for East Mississippi Community College, an opportunity like this, that at the end of the day is very cost-effective, uh, it, it, it requires time, it requires a commitment, uh, but also it doesn't uh, require those things uh, in such a way that it makes it difficult to do what you were paid to do or what you're hired to do at the college. So uh, to me, it's, an, it, it's a no-brainer. It's a win-win for everyone. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of this particular institute, this particular opportunity for our, our faculty. And I think East Mississippi Community College has taken advantage of this uh, uh, for a number of years, and we, we certainly plan to continue to do so. We were fortunate enough to be part of a classroom setting at um, provided by the Mississippi Community College Board Institute of Teaching and Learning that has just really benefited us. Um, I have been a nurse for 17 years, but I haven't been an instructor. So we were able to go to a classroom setting, learn things like interactive teaching styles, um, the, that the students have different learning styles that I needed to incorporate. and. Some of the things that I was worried about were, were, was things like managing classroom behavior, and I was able to gather those tools uh, during our meeting with at MCCB. So that was really helpful for me. 
One of the things that I found beneficial through this whole program, the Institute for Teaching and Learning through Mississippi Community College Board, has been the webinars that we've participated in just about every month. Mm -hmm. I think we've had some type of webinar um, to give us some information about how to better manage our classroom or different teaching styles. And one uh, particular month that stands out to me, we had a webinar um, that how to approach different generations. There's a generation gap and um, some of us might not want to um, uh, accept that, you know, that there, there may be more than um, one type of generation in our classroom and different ways in order to blend them and uh, have a very productive classroom. This program we were able to participate in a site visit where Miss Brandon came over she watched Candy and I uh, team teach and she was able to give us valuable feedback from that so that was beneficial to us as well you know how were we doing were we doing okay and we wanted that feedback to be able to improve our classroom style it's just the resources, uh, the wealth of information that they're given, the training that they're given, whether it's through a webinar, face-to-face -face training, or even going on in the classroom, it just uh, gives them the benefits of coming back and opening up, having a better understanding of what they're supposed to do as an educator in a community college setting. I think the benefits that uh, it's uh, the return on investment comes when they're given an opportunity to act out, role play, ask questions, feel comfortable with themselves as what they're learning, they go back and take it in the classroom. They become those educators that we're looking for as we're preparing our career and technical students for future careers, continuing their education, entering the workforce and being productive citizens. I appreciate the Community College Board and what they're doing as they're preparing our students and our teachers to be effective in the classroom. offered to me to help me help students to better themselves into the curriculum of welding that I teach here. All exceptions for grade apply to make it number plate. My journey began in 2002 working in the maintenance department. I've got the opportunity to take night classes. I only could afford one night class so it took me about six or eight years to complete it. And I remember and never forget my last day Class, that final exam, I walked out that back door and I told myself that I was going to be an instructor in one day. Well, that day came about five, six years later where I got a job teaching air conditioning refrigeration. And since then, Institutes of Teaching and Learning has helped me out tremendously on the webinars and the site visits and the face to face. So career development is one of the most important components of um, employee retention and employee engagement. And so for that reason, the Mississippi Community College Board is thrilled to offer professional development opportunities to our community college instructors that will help them to expand their knowledge and enhance their skills in teaching.